This is Otago. We are made in Africa. Father, forgive me for I have sinned. Washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. All the
You may confess your sins, my child. All sins are equal in the eyes of God. There is no one or any sin that cannot be forgiven. I killed a man last night, and I will kill more. What did you say? They will all die, Father. My child, s slow, slow down. You're getting me all confused here. Who did you kill and why? But you know, you don't have to do this anymore, you know. I will kill them all. You don't have to do this. Wait. Wait. I get it, I get it. But don't worry, I'll do just that. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm coming.
we have here? Please come in. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. Please sit and make yourself comfortable. Sure. So, um, do you mind the uh, champagne? Uh, yes, champagne would be just perfect. Oh, I beg you already. You see, classy women, they do champagne. And I like my woman classy and sexy, just like you are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are a very gentle man. Well, I try. I really do try. Let me get you your chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hope uh, you will have all of it. All of it. Of course. <laughs> it's very good for the body. Yeah. So, um, how do we get this party started? Um, how about you get into the bathroom and I will meet you there? <sighs> this is a good start. Is everything okay? Uh, I, I, you, you, you trying to say something? Uh, say it, come on, go ahead. you out. In your drink, I mix the venom of a viper. That's one of the world's most dangerous snakes. <laughs> In the first stage, you'll feel paralyzed. You'll try to talk, but won't find your words. You'll try to move your legs and hands, but won't be able to. You won't even be able to blink your eyes. Slowly, the second stage happens. The venom goes straight into your veins like a virus and dries up your blood. You will try to stand but won't be able to. You will be dead and alive at the same time. At this point, you'll be wishing you were dead, but don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. You are a dead man already. The third and final stage. At this point, you're a dead man. But of course, with your eyes wide open. You asked me why I did this? 
I'll say a breather too. Do you remember? Hello? Hello? Hello, Simon. I've been trying to reach you all morning. Mr. Hoffman of Brap Enterprises is dead. What? And it looks like murder. Someone else definitely did this. Well, anyway, you need to get here now. All right.
who finally showed up to work. Good morning, beautiful. Uh -huh. I love you too. Mm. Look at you. You look beautiful. I love you too, man. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> yeah, I miss you too. Okay, focus, focus. I'm trying to. What do we have here? Well, we've got a rose on the bed, two glasses, one broken, one obviously not, and of course, the body of the victim, Mr. Hoffman, right lying right next there. So, what can we hmm. do with this? So you're saying no witnesses, nope, nothing on the cameras? Not one, absolutely none. Spoke to everyone and they saw nothing. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. Have we spoken to? Oh, wow. So over there's the body. It's the Huffman. Mm-hmm. It's a terrible thing, eh? It really is. Yep. Anyway, so we've got a rose on the bed, and we've got a glass of champagne on the table, and some broken glass over here, and of course the victim's body. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do we make of this? Did you talk to the receptionist? The uh, security cameras? Nothing? Yep. I spoke to everyone, and no one saw anything. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, let's have them pack up the evidence in the room and the forensics move the body to the lab. Okay. And then maybe we could find out the cause of death of Mr. Huffman. Hmm. Look at him. I knew there was something fishy about this man, you know? All right. So I've got the security footage from the hotel. I'll look into that personally and see if there's anything I could find. All right. All right. Perfect then. That's it then. Okay. All right, people, you heard the man. Move it, move it. Let's go. Let's pack up and go. It was slow and definitely painful. Whatever killed him had a time in the whole world. Two seconds ago, you came to call from our job. You said you had something. Cause of death is by intake. You empty take and she got in, and I'll continue to think until I find out. <laughs> yes, but you do understand that we have a job and an investigation to carry out, and none of that can be compromised or restricted in any way. I remember. But you said you were going to bring in the documents for me to re-examine. We cross-examined the body and there were no evidence of anything being injected. So we took one final road. And yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm losing my mind in here. People just can't stop dying every day and we have no control over that. I mean, I need to calm my nerves and stay away from all this 